Thank you for watching this presentation called The Secret to Changing Your Life. My name is Laura Wilkinson. I am a life transformation coach and mind-body practitioner, also known as a holistic practitioner. My holistic practices include transpersonal hypnotherapy, EFT, also known as emotional freedom technique, holistic nutrition, Reiki, chakra balancing, and using the law of attraction. This presentation is to help people who are ready to make changes in their life and what I really want to teach is the different phases that you're going to experience during the process of change. As people are looking at making changes in their life, they kind of go for this visual of this outer obstacle that they have to overcome. And making life changes is really about the inner changes that you have to make. It's not so much about the outward goal as it is all of the inner challenges and barriers and layers that you need to be peeling back and then the other layers that you need to be building up. It's not the mountain that we must conquer but ourselves, Sir Edmund Hillary. And when you're going through this process of change, it really helps if you have a leader, a mentor, someone such as a coach such as myself who knows how to get through the different steps of the process of change and can guide you through it. So many people make the mistake of trying to do everything themselves and it's really hard, nearly impossible, to hold the space for yourself as the student and the teacher at the same time because you're constantly shifting between those different mindsets and the amount of time and effort that it takes for you to get through those steps, if you know what steps that you're even going through, is this huge challenge that a lot of people aren't able to overcome and sadly they get stuck in repeating these steps over and over and you know when you find yourself repeating things over and over that's kind of the definition of insanity and I work with a lot of people who are stuck in the point in their lives where they're repeating this process and it feels it feels very stuck and it feels very depressing and what I do is I help them to get to the next steps so that they understand how to move on and have a more fulfilling life. So the first thing that we think of is making this change in our life is moving away from the old status quo and envisioning the new status quo. And if you're unfamiliar with those terms, it means basically your old reality and the reality that you want to have and how to get there. So you kind of have this vision of how things are now and holding this space of, you know, possibility. Some people don't even have the vision of what that looks like. They just have this knowing of, I don't want what I have now. I want something else, even if I don't know what that is. So the first thing that happens in the process of change is we have this pattern interrupter. And that's where something happens and it changes either your physical reality or you have this change of mind, this change of heart. There's some kind of shift that happens and that interrupts your patterns. Then you realize that things aren't the same from here on. So this is a really big shift. A lot of times it's extremely uncomfortable because it's not necessarily invited. It's more of, you know, it's the interruption. Getting to the next phase of change, we come to resistance. So now we're kind of forced into this change of our life, whether that be, you know, something's changed in our physical reality or something that we've changed our minds. We know that we don't want what we had. We don't know how to get what we want yet. But there's this really funky layer of resistance. And resistance has a lot of masks that it wears. Resistance comes as all kinds of blocks and barriers that people don't even recognize. So for instance, you say that you want a new job, yet you're resistant to change your resume. You're resistant to make the interview. You're resistant to asking for more money. There are so many ways that resistance can just show up. And this is just one example of how I see it happening in the workforce for people who are making changes in their career. So a lot of people get stuck in this resistance because it's extremely uncomfortable and it's out of the norm. It's not your normal. It's, it's experiencing something different and your subconscious mind is going, no, this isn't right. I can't do this. And then we come up with all kinds of excuses <laughs> you're probably really familiar with. So a lot of people don't even take the next step because they can't recognize that, okay, this is resistance, this is normal. It's normal to feel resistant. 
what's not good for you is staying stuck in your resistance and not allowing yourself to move through this part of the process into the next phase of change, which can a lot of times feel like chaos. Chaos. Hmm. Chaos is like a storm. Chaos is like a tornado that comes into your life and turns everything upside down. So chaos, after you've gone through the initial resistance, is really before you've learned how to cope in this new reality and you're not really sure how to how to deal with it because everything that you've done up until this point has got you to where you are now. But if you use those tools of the past, they're not going to work for where you're at now because this is a completely different situation. You can't go into your job and start, um, you know, doing your old job at your new job. This is a new job. It's not going to work. So if you're not understanding how to make that shift, your life is going to feel like a storm. In other areas, it can feel like you've come through some kind of a health problem. You've had this health challenge. And for example, you're starting to do the things that you have to do to make the, the shift to start your healing, right? Okay, so you've started a little bit of the integration process. You've You've stopped being so resistant to the new routines that you have to have or the medications that you're supposed to take or the exercises that you're supposed to do. But it just feels really chaotic. It hasn't really settled into a full routine. You haven't really integrated it with your life because you're still hanging on to this past stuff of this isn't right, this isn't how it's supposed to be. So you've got a little bit of resistance still lingering in there. You're not really at point A, but you're not really at your point B yet. You're kind of just stuck in the middle and uncertain what to do and it feels like that you just you have lost your coping skills and you don't know how to make it through to the next phase. You've lost your pace of life and you don't understand how to put, you know, yourself into the motion of finding this new flow. So a lot of people will hit the chaos phase and go, "Oh my gosh, this feels so terrible. This feels worse than the resistance." So I'm just going to stop here and I'm just going to go back and then they go back to the old status quo which isn't fitting anymore and it, you can see this building up and it's just this extremely uncomfortable space of neither here nor there. So if you're someone who resonates with this feeling of chaos, I have created the Mind Body Depletion Recovery Program which sounds like a really long title, but that's exactly what it is. It's for when you become so broken down and so depleted and so drained from trying to get through these changes or not just the chaos, but the burnout that people feel when they're trying too hard, they're putting too much effort, they're putting too much energy in ways that aren't efficient and isn't moving them forward. So getting back to the chaos. So after people have started to overcome the chaos, then they move into the next phase, which is the epiphany. The epiphany is the idea, it's the mindset change that helps you really start to understanding things are going to be different now. And it, it's kind of when you have that click, you just have like that aha moment where you go, okay, this is starting to make sense now. Now I can see where I've had this resistance. I can see how this might have felt chaotic because I wasn't really getting to the next steps yet. I was in this space of nothing is fitting. And then after the epiphany comes the integration where you really start to put the different pieces together and you really start to see how things are going to fit together. You start actually doing the things that it's going to take and being the person that you want to be to have the life that you want to live. And at that point, you can really start to see that you're becoming the person that you want to be and achieving the new status quo and having the life that you want to live. So many people put way too much time and way too much energy, most of the time, honestly, not even achieving this change, this process of change and becoming the person that they want to be because they don't understand and they don't recognize the process of change. And it's extremely sad. It is heartbreaking to have gone through this myself and to also see so many other people getting frustrated in their lives because they don't know how to move through it. They don't know how to let go of things. They don't know how to, they don't know what to let go of. They don't know what to grasp. It's like, it's kind of like this really 
nasty juggling act on this like hamster wheel and it's burning people out. So when we're going through this journey of transformation, there's some really important things that you need to know. So make sure that you're not on any extra tabs on Facebook or YouTube or any of your social media. You know, turn off your music in the background, turn down your phone to a level that feels comfortable and safe for you so that you can really start to grasp and understand this. The Hero's Journey by Joseph Campbell. He is an American professor of literature, and you'll probably, hopefully, recognize the stages that I'm talking about of the process of change and personal development because I'm about to show you how these show up in your life all of the time and how you're really resonating with this on a deep soul level, but you're not consciously aware of what's going on. So we're going to talk about this and I'm going to show you right now. So you've got your norm. You're living your everyday life. Okay, this is just like what we see in the movies. It's like the superhero, you know, he's doing his thing and living his everyday life and then he gets this pattern interrupter, this call to take action. Something happens and there's an immediate need for attention. And then you have to start with your team building. You can't go out this alone. You have to have people on your side. You need some support. So you have to prepare yourself. You have to, you can't just step into this new being. You have to have some preparation. You can't just go on this huge journey and not have packed your bags or made your checklist of everything, all your necessities or the places that you're going to stop. You have to know where you're going. So you have to have some preparation. And you see yourself coming across these blocks and barriers. These are things that get in the way of you taking the steps along your path of change. And then you come to crossing the threshold and you'll see this in the movies all of the time. The hero takes this incredible journey. He's assembled his team or her team. All of those people who are supportive, you see it in, okay, I'm a super nerd. You see it in The Hobbit. You see it in the Harry Potter movies. You even see it in, like, Eat, Pray, Love. These people don't do these things on their own. They've taken the preparation. They've assembled all of their favorite people who are the most supportive of their fulfilling this mission. And once they have made that preparation, they cross the threshold, which means they're stepping out of their comfort zone and they're going to new horizons. A lot of times when you cross the threshold, you can have this feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm being tested. Like there's this weird stuff going on. I feel like that this is a test and I feel like probably I'm failing right now. <laughs> uh, it's a really unfortunate feeling. But once you get to this phase, this is, a, this is a part of the process of change. This is normal. This is your subconscious mind and your conscious mind having this conversation that you don't realize saying, um, excuse me, you're out of your comfort zone and it's probably a little bit safer for you to not be doing this right now. So just in case you feel like changing your mind, here's a little test for you. Okay. And if you pass this test, you can keep going. But if you are hesitant and you're really uncertain and you don't know what you're doing, we're probably just, we probably just should stop right now because this probably isn't good for you and you're probably not going to do good anyway. And you have this conversation going. Okay. You have this conversation with yourself and if you don't know that you're having a conversation, you're probably not going to pass the conversation. So it's important for one to recognize that this is there, there is a conversation happening. Okay. It's your subconscious mind and your, and your conscious mind Two, know that this is part of the process. So recognizing, okay, I'm feeling this kind of resistance, right? Because this is what this is. This is kind of resistance. This is also the law of attraction. This is also the universe saying, okay, just checking. Do you still want this or do you not want this? This is a decision. This is a choice. This is your free will to say yes or no. Do you want to make this change in your life? And then the hero has a saving experience. And this saving experience is when they pull up the courage from deep inside themselves and they say, I can do this. I have to do this. And they do it. It's hard, but they do it. And then they reach the transformation, which is the integration of becoming the person and the, the hero that they wanted to be 
the person that they really truly wanted to be but didn't know how to be initially in the beginning and it wasn't until they went through each one of those steps and shed parts of themselves that weren't serving them anymore you know did some forgiveness work did some inner healing work did some building up of confidence there you know there's several different layers in between here that I help people with but the important part that I really want you to grasp is that there is this process a huge part of this process is really having a new perspective and this I'm really hoping that this presentation is going to help you with that and helping you understand that there are these processes in how to become the person that you want to be the process of change in the different phases that you go through even having that perspective I know is going to help you know probably th hopefully thousands of people go OMG this is why I haven't put out that application for that new job this is why I'm still scared and I haven't yet gone back to school to do the thing that I wanted or this is why I haven't developed my relationship any further yet or this is why I haven't worked on my vision board and actually took the next steps to my goal that's going to get me to where I want to go so as people are spinning their wheels and wasting all of this time and energy I've developed a system to help you cut these back and and, and what that means is that I've made a program that's going to take you through these different steps and we're actually going to work through these steps and one thing that I really want to emphasize is there's a lot of value in talk therapy there's a lot of value in um, going to seeing a counselor to help you with their, your problems one of the challenges that I see with a lot of people is that it's it's not getting to the integration step it's not it's not taking you from point A to point B it's just talking about it and it's really important to as you're you know having your talk therapy and you're having your support of your counselor or your other mentors it's extremely important in having that kind of support like we talked about you need your support of people but it's really important to understand that there are steps that are going to get you to where you want to go but you have to know that these steps exist and you have to be willing to take the steps that are going to get there so I want you to see this whole flow so you've got your old status quo your old way of life and then we start to make that initial first step in the transformation you come across the resistance and you go whoa this isn't um, this isn't very comfortable like I just I'm not sure if I can do this I don't think I'm gonna do this I don't think that I can really do this right now and resistance comes up in all kinds of ways so I mean that can be like a whole video on its own and the next phase is chaos where you start to move past that resistance but you're neither here nor there and it's really uncomfortable and everything feels topsy-turvy and you're not really sure how to get both feet on the ground and how to keep your energy and keep your wits about you and how to create this new flow of life so then the next comes the epiphany and you have that aha moment and you go okay this is starting to make sense oh my gosh I feel so much better just knowing that this makes sense like I'm not really sure yet how it's gonna work out but I feel better in knowing okay and then the next step you come to the integration and you're putting one foot in front of the other and you're marching towards your goals and you're starting to recognize yourself showing up as the person that you want to be and the final step is becoming the person that you want to be and arriving at your new status quo and I want to also mention that this is not just a straight ladder okay this is something that you'll come up against every time that you grow <laughs> okay so that's one of the really important reasons why I wanted you to see this process of change is because this is something that's kind of like a spiral okay it's not a ladder because every time you get to this new level of your this you've reached your new status quo the next time that you set a really big goal you're gonna come through these same steps you're gonna have your initial resistance and you're gonna work through your resistance you're gonna recognize when things start feeling a little bit chaotic right but you're gonna have learned how to deal with that chaos so that you can move in a way that is most productive and move to the next step of arriving to your epiphany moment and then getting to your integration and then reaching your new goal so this is something that's ongoing but if you don't recognize the patterns it's really difficult to move through them 
So this program that I've created is called Aligned and it's an eight week program. This program is so awesome. I'm really, really hyped about this program because with these steps and with these processes, I've been able to change my own life. This is really integrating the law of attraction, EFT, the emotional freedom technique, also known as tapping. If you're not familiar with the EFT, you've probably heard of tapping. It also integrates meditations, specific meditations, not just, you know, silencing your mind. We go through really specific meditations that kind of help plant the seed, if you will, of the goals that you want to have. There's a lot of transformation coaching. This is really all of these different tools guide you on this map of how to get to the person that you want to be the person that you want to be. Okay, this is something that we need to talk about. Whether you think you can or you can, you're right. That's by Henry Ford. The person that you want to be. So when you're thinking about the person that you want to be and the person that you are, that's for you to decide. So you are who you think you are. If you think that you're the person from the past, then that's who you're going to be. If you think that you're this amazing person that you envision or that you feel deep within your soul because you don't really have that vision yet, that's who you're going to be. And whether you think that you can get through this process of becoming the person that you want to be, if you can think that you can get through this process of arriving at whatever huge, incredible goal that you have, whether you think that you can or that you can't, you're right. Because your mindset is the most important thing. Your mindset equals a healing attitude. And I want you to really let this resonate. Your mindset equals having a healing attitude. No matter what you're going through against right now, I want to invite you to ask yourself, how can I heal this? And this is something that I've developed and use for, I use for myself all of the time whenever I feel something coming up or I'm experiencing something that feels really big as I ask myself, how can I heal this? And that's a really individualized thought because it's different for everybody. It's not, how am I going to get through this? It's not, you know, you're not trying to make something something that it isn't. It's what do I need to do within myself to feel good and to heal this? The Aligned program is a life coaching program that's built for self-discovery and healing to help you feel empowered and create a life that you love. I can't even begin to describe (laughs) the impact that this has on people. I've had several clients tell me that they have more than doubled their annual salary by working with me, which is a really incredible thing to hear. (laughs) Um, Just seeing the impact that that's had on people's lives is super amazing. If you're someone who's felt the pain of the past or of the present and you really have this desire to change your life but you're feeling lost and you're feeling depressed or you're feeling confused like who am I I don't know who I am anymore there are so many people that this happens to there are so many moms out there who lose their sense of self because they are a caregiver of these little people and of this family or just caregivers in general um different practitioners, therapists, doctors. Oh my gosh, I read this study the other day that was talking about the health rates of doctors and how they're so busy taking care of other people that they often neglect themselves, which is a really horrible thing to hear. It's kind of ironic, but it happens to a lot of people and it's not just the the physical, it's the the self-identity, it's the where am I going? So this program is for people that want to stop feeling stuck and they want to heal themselves. They want to heal the part of themselves that feel stuck and they want to really connect with their vision of themselves of the future and learn how to align themselves with that to get to the place that you want to be, to become the person who you want to be. You have to learn how to let go. You have to learn how to let go of everything that weighs you down. You've probably heard a lot of people tell you, As I said before, you know, you just need to let go. You just need to let that stuff go. It's really easy to say it, but how many people actually tell you how to do that? You have to have the vision. You have to know how to create the vision of the life that you want and the person that you want to be. You have to know how to minimize the pain and how to 
use it to fuel you. You don't necessarily have to take it away. We're not erasing the past, okay? We're minimizing the pain and creating it as a fuel to help you move forward. Helping you to create balance in your life, learning how to nurture yourself, learning how to rest when you need to rest, learning how to run when you need to run, learning how to hustle when you need to hustle, and learning how to relax when you just need to take a break. In developing that self-love, really allowing yourself. That's a word that I really want you to pay attention to for yourself. Am I allowing? Okay, because so many times we have the invitation and we're asking the universe, universe, I really want this. And the universe is like, okay, great. I've got all of this incredible stuff lined up for you. But then you haven't really worked on that inner part of yourself, which is the loving part, which says, okay, I'll let you have this. And so you're not allowing all of those great experiences. And I really want to help you learn how to do that for yourself. So there's a lot of exercises. We're going to be using some different tools and some different meditations to help you allow the things that you want to stop stopping yourself. And we're going to work on full alignment, mind, body, and spirit, getting yourself on the same page consciously, subconsciously, energetically, So that you're creating the life that you want, you're feeling the life that you want, and you're doing the things that are going to help you achieve those things. The resistance that you feel is fear-based. It stems from a lack of knowledge and a lack of preparation. Resistance is just a phase of change. That's all that it is. It's It's your subconscious mind saying, this is out of our norm. This maybe isn't safe. Maybe there might, there's probably something that happened in the past at some point where it didn't feel like that it was safe or you're not, you've made these vows to yourself that you're not allowed to show up so big in life. You're not allowed to do amazing things. You're not allowed to have big goals. You kind of just have to blend. Like this is a family rule. You kind of just have to blend and do what everyone else did. Otherwise, who are you to do this? So resistance can come up in all kinds of ways, but really that resistance is just based on fear. And it comes from a lack of knowledge and a lack of preparation. But once you start to recognize those patterns and you're understanding yourself at a deeper level and saying, oh, okay, this is where that's coming from. Well, I'm choosing not to believe that anymore. I'm choosing to see this in a different way that allows healing into my life. Because when you ask for something, you have to be able to receive it. You have to be able to have your hands free of that weight so that you can accept the gift of the present, so that you can accept the gift of the future and all of the things that you want to have in your life. (laughs) This is a really funny picture. I really like this one. Um, (laughs) You know, we have so many tools. We have so much. This is the information era. We have so much information available to us online, but what we're really lacking is the integration and then knowing how to do it, how to put the pieces together, and how to get to the next steps that we want to achieve. I want to help you stop running from the past and learn how to focus on creating the momentum to live a life that's balanced, meaningful, and aligned. And what that's really about is soul alignment. It's really about the law of attraction. It's really about allowing and creating And being the amazing creator that you are and really understanding on a deeper level of your soul what that means to be a creator and the power that you have to create the life that you want. So if this is something that you want for yourself, and I know that a lot of you really want this for yourselves, but there might be that fear. Take a moment to recognize that fear, okay? Take a moment to recognize that resistance to change, if that's what you're feeling right now. And recognize that that's part of your process of change. That's part of your subconscious mind saying, hey, whoa, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can have this. I don't know if you should really do this right now. Um, You know, I have this really long list of excuses why you should just stay uncomfortable how you are because, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how many people, how many wonderful people that I know that are holding on to such heavy burdens that they're not allowing themselves to put down the weight because they have this 
need to hold on and and it's almost like this self punishment like there's a lot of forgiveness people that there's a lot of forgiveness that a lot of people still have to work through for themselves not just forgiveness of other people but forgiveness of the self this is what i'm really talking about self forgiveness and permission to move on specifically this is something that we are going to work on in week 3 but right now i just want you to recognize those things that might be coming up for you as I am inviting you to join this program aligned. It's a six week program. I've created a week seven kind of a bonus. It's it's all about opening yourself for abundance and creating more confidence for yourself as you move as you continue to move. So we've got the six week program and then and it's an intensive. Okay, it's gonna be every week several assignments because we're going to you know, really get to this on some really deep levels. We're going deep on this one. So we're, we're going to be working with the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and we're going to be using some mind body tools as well. So you can count on at least three to four tools that we're going to be working with every single week. And then in week seven, it's going to be the bonus. Um, the bo- It's like the bonus round. Ooh, it's like the bonus round to really open up the doors to abundance and really building up some more confidence in you. But, um, yeah, this is an incredible program because it takes you through each of the steps and it helps you shed layer. It helps you shed layers that are weighing you down and it helps build you up these new layers of yourself that already existed, but just were kind of buried beneath all of this other stuff. So it's really about getting rid of everything that weighs you down and building up everything that's working for you. And helping you work through the past and getting you into the integration of becoming the person that you want to be. So if this sounds like a program for you, feel free to send me a message if you have some questions. Or you can click on the link below to sign up and I will see you inside. I am so excited. This changes everything. I just want you to know that your life is about to change right now and that's not an understatement. (laughs) It's not an understatement. Be excited. Be freaking thrilled because this is going to change your life. Blessings. I'll see you later.